Cav manager Mickey Graham after guiding Cav into an Ulster final for the first time in 18 years. Well done, Mickey. Yeah, look, at, um, I, I, I thought it'd be a week more um, overjoyed, but I think, you know, just the, the occasion and everything else that went along with the day and we but still <coughs> waiting for it to sink in and just to savour the moment. I suppose it'll be later on tonight, maybe tomorrow, that we realise what we're after achieving with these lads, you know. Yeah, well, you look at the, the game itself, you know, Armagh started a couple of goal chances. Ray Galligan had to step mm. up, a leader rolled in. Went on to score points, but then Calvin's response were, were so efficient in attack in the following 15 minutes. Yeah, we were, you know, we we, we, we played with lots of energy today. We felt that we missed that we lacked that the last day. And we played with lots of energy, and you know, we've learned so much from Division One football this year. We learned that when when you don't take your chances, you're going to get punished. And for us to compete at this level, we knew that when every chance we get, we nearly have to be getting them all the time. And it's something that the lads have worked hard on, in fairness, and they took the right options at the right time. And that's what it's all about. Yeah, we were talking, I didn't say it the after the last game, but Niall Murray coming in on the freeze, one free missed out of the two games. Where did that come from? Ah, uh, sure, we, we knew Niall was a great free taker all along. But no, no, but look, when I was a minor manager, county minor manager, Niall was our free taker, you know, but he's, he's great confidence in his own ability there, you know, and... Um, I said to him, you know, you know, after the league, you know, we need somebody to step up, and he's put his hand up and showed great character to do that, you know. Yeah, and some some fabulous scores, but your bench once again made an impact. Look at um, in, in, the, in the modern game nowadays, you need lads to come off the bench to make an impact, to make a difference, and we said that, and we made a couple of changes to a bench today as well from the last day, and you know, it could have been one or two other lads could have been sprung if that game had to went extra time, and no doubt one or two lads might have made an appearance, but. You know, the competition for places within the squad is fierce and it's not a nice job as a manager, you know, on, on midweek telling lads that they haven't made the 26-man squad, but by God, them lads, you know, are chomping and it's them lads that's keeping the 15 and the 21 lads that come on on the post. Yeah, looking at the second half then, Armagh got back within a point, your, your heart must have been pumping. Yeah, but look at... It's something that you know we've got to learn, or we had to learn as we went along. That you know we're not always going to get things along. Go, everything's not going to go our way during the course of the game. There's going to come the times when our backs are against the wall, and there's going to be serious questions asked of us mentally. And it was something that we needed to get right, and that that when it happened, that we didn't panic or we didn't start doing stuff against what we talked about. And I think that's been the difference this uh, also championship campaign. Yeah, last few minutes, character as you mentioned in the last game again it, it stood up they seem to have a, a ice cold veins when it comes into the crucial stage now yeah and you could be forgiven at times you know if they took the wrong option because of the heat of battle but you know these games uh, I, I think you know these games it's standard them and they've learned a lot from the last day and the more big games Cavan play on the, m the more wiser they'll get as the fella says and the more cuter they'll get and I'm just delighted in general for for them because you know these lads have been knocking around a long time, especially the older members of the squad. And you know, to get this opportunity on us the final day, you know, it's just their reward, not just for this year, but for the last 10, 12 years. Can you answer a question? Have you ever been bet in the replay? No. <laughs> what do you do? What is, what is the secret to it? Because it's some record. Yeah, well, you look at what Napoleon said. Give you, give me a lucky general any day, then again a good general, and you know, lots of it is luck. But the way I've approached replays all my life is like when you get a second shot at anything in life, you grab it with both hands. You don't dwell on what happened beforehand. You say, look at hold on. If you can't get the job done the second time round, you can have no excuses and many chances do you need. So we didn't look at it as a missed chance. We looked at it as another opportunity to go out and put another performance in, and that's exactly the way we approach it. You know, we'll take a draw the first day in the, in the final. So if it, if it comes. <laughs> oh geez, don't camp for it any earlier. That but we, uh, hopefully you know we we get uh, get near enough to Donegal to bring, bring it to a draw. But it's going to be a very very big ask, you know. There, Rain and most of huge performance last night, and you know rightly so. Hot favourites going into the final. So we look at we we'll, we we'll come and see what we can do anyway. As John Denning said to me off air, he got a phone call to say, Jesus, Mickey and John are going into another provincial final as underdogs. It sounds familiar. Does it? <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave it at that, Mickey. <laughs> <laughs>